Brent Wallace is here. Uh, he's the regional operations director for YMCA of Central Kentucky. We're talking about the Black Cat Chase coming up in October, but registration is open now. And thanks for joining us, Brent. Absolutely. Good to be here, Zach and David. Yeah. It's a special pleasure to be here on a day that, uh, that you're here. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. We, we are glad to have you. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay. So Brent, let's highlight the race. Uh, Black Cat Chase is a, is a big, big deal here in Frankfurt, and folks look forward to it all year round. Um, and so if, if somebody hasn't heard of Black Cat Chase, or maybe they're new to Frankfurt, uh, fill our viewers in on what makes this 5K special. Right. Well, um, the first thing is that you know, the Black Cat's actually been the longest race that's been happening in Frankfurt. It's actually been going over for th over 30 years now. So it's the longest standing race, but also it's probably the largest race as well. Um, in, in the peak time before COVID, we actually were approaching 2,000 participants. And uh, last year, we actually had a little bit over 1,000. And this year, we're already expecting about a 20 to 30 percent increase. So we're expecting a lot of people to come out there. But that's that's not the, the thing that makes it special. That's just one of the after effects because it is special. The thing that makes it special is that it's truly a community organized event. We have people that go out there just to celebrate the holidays, to celebrate uh, the community at large, but we have um, Halloween costume contests. There's kids and there's family, there's strollers, there's dogs on leashes out there. It's just a fun time and people go out there just to celebrate uh, being around each other. And now more than ever coming out of COVID, you know, people really want to get out and actually celebrate life more than they actually have before. So uh, the Black Cat Chase is just something that's really special to the community because it really brings the community together, no matter what age, no matter what background, and people just come out there just to have a good time. Yep, and you mentioned the uh, the holiday there, and uh, as, as we said before, it's a Friday, October 28th, so it's in October, but to me, it, it really is uh, like, the, like the kickoff to Halloween, or really not the kickoff, but it, like, it makes me think of Halloween mm -hmm. in Frankfurt, like. The, the black cat chase just goes hand in hand with that to me. No, I, absolutely. And uh, one of the things that, you know, like, oh, you're talking about black cat already. It's, it's only July. But well, if you go to Hobby Lobby, you're probably shopping for Christmas. So, uh, you know, Halloween is really not too far of a reach right now. <laughs> but we actually just now opened up registration at July 1st. And we actually already have over three dozen people signed up right now. So that's a really good indication that uh, we're going to have a really successful year this year. And like I said, it's, it's something that really everyone can enjoy. Even if you're not going to run in the event, you could walk it or you can actually just go as a participant just to spectate and just to enjoy the festivities that surround it as well yeah we just took a look at the uh the sign up page there at runsignup.com um, and you can find that information of course from ymca uh yeah ymcacky.org was that right that's correct yeah um and so you mentioned yeah registration is open and it's at a reduced price right until the end of the month that's correct so right now is the the lowest rate they'll ever get for the entire season right now it's only 25 dollars. all participants get a a, a, um, a a traditional black cat shirt that these are basically collector items if you walk around frankfurt you're you're bound to see some black cat shirts from years past so uh, you know the race is great but people really love to sign up to get those shirts as well because they they've become collectors editions um, and one of the things that makes the black cat special as well a lot of people know the YMCA for you know either working out or for child care you know going for youth sports um, but one of the things that makes the YMCA unique is that we're a nonprofit organization and we actually raise funds every year so individuals and families in lower income community homes uh, can actually help afford the YMCA and this race is one of our biggest fundraisers of the year so whenever someone signs up for the black cat they're actually helping the community by supporting the annual giving campaign, which we take those funds and we take it back out into the community. So we give everyone an opportunity to take part in the YMCA. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, because it's uh, it's not only a good time, but it goes to a great cause, right? And, and like you said, it, uh, you, you guys put that back into the community um, and you can participate uh either by yourself or uh with a you know a spouse or or family or as a work group right a lot of, we see that a lot where, where whole uh, uh work groups will will sign up and run together and uh yeah have a great time 
Yeah, so for the awards, we actually give out individual awards, but we also give out team awards. So anyone that wants to sign up as a team, we've seen teams that are just family members. We've seen teams that are work employees. Uh, we've seen teams uh, that are school groups. So we also give out uh, an additional incentive for the team. So any, any team that signs up at least five participants, you actually have some additional savings with that. So uh, keep that in mind whenever you're getting involved with the Black Hat. If you know some other people that you'd like to have join you, just go ahead and create a team and have some extra savings, but also have some extra fun with it. So, uh, Brent, uh, let us know about anything else um, that the YMCA has got going on that uh, you want to tell our viewers about. Yeah, so the YMCA is still thriving in Frankfurt. Um, one of the things that is coming up right now is that we're actually registering for our fall soccer uh, program, which takes place at Lakeview uh, Park. And we take children ages 3 to 12 years old. And also, if you would like to become a member of the YMCA, we're actually having a great membership promotion. We still have our Prevention Park YMCA location open that we offer um, uh, dozens of group exercise programs out there every week. We have a great workout facility over there, and we also have some free child care that's available for members that want to work out uh, Monday through Thursday and also on Saturdays. And that promotion is, uh, it's a pay the day promotion. So today is the 6th of July, I believe. So if you went and signed up today, you'd actually only be paying a $6 joiner fee, $7 tomorrow, $8 the next day, and so on until, until the end of the month. So the earlier you sign up, the more that you save. And Zach, if I can mention something really quick about the Black Cat that yeah. uh, I failed to mention that, yeah. um, you know, we, we are really big into the community involvement and so is Whitaker Bank, who also was one of our proud sponsors uh, again this year. So I certainly want to say thank you to Whitaker Bank and anyone that would like to become a sponsor of, uh, of the Black Cat. We are still taking sponsorships uh, and you just need to contact us at the YMCA if you have an interest. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, lots of fun stuff uh, coming up um, for the, the YMCA uh, here in town and uh, and in October. And of course, you can get that reduced rate for registration for the Black Cat Chase uh, now until or through July 31st. Right. Um, and, and also, even if you're not, you don't want to participate in the race, it's still fun to just go down and, and hang out, right? And, and see the community event. And it's it all takes place. It starts and finishes there in the old Capitol lawn. That's, that's, that's correct. Actually, a, a funny story, uh, a couple years ago is actually, I believe is the last year before COVID hit. Um, I was actually talking to one of the police officers that was working the race and he said, I don't know what you did, but this is the most people I've ever seen in downtown Frankfurt. So that's kind of our goal again this year is we want to get a crowd out there. We want the community to really come together to not just to support the event, but also just come together as a community because, you know, we need each other right now. And this is a great way to get everyone involved. Yep, I think that's huge, and, and I, I, you love seeing that and pictures from Black Cat Chase in previous years, and um, seeing how many people come down there. So, um, so that's a that's a great event. Uh, it's Friday, October twenty eighth, seven p.m. Like we said, registration is open. You can get that uh, ymcacky dot org. Uh, Brent, before we let you go, while we've got you in the hot seat, we're talking fried chicken for our question of the day. Uh, you, you let us know before we went live here, uh, your thoughts on homemade fried chicken. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but tell us, yeah, tell us if you prefer homemade fried chicken or if you got a restaurant and which one it is. Well, if, if it's homemade, it would still need to be someone else that would make it at, at the home because I would probably <laughs> burn the house down. Um, but for going out, um, here in, in Frankfurt, um, one of the things that we didn't mention was, um, actually, I think Cracker Barrel has a really good uh, fried chicken. But if you actually go to Lexington, I think Winchell's um, has a really good fried chicken there, and also Ramsey's. Oh, Ramsey's. Yeah. <laughs> Hungry now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ramsey's fried chicken salad, I get at least once a week. And David, I'm right there with you. Lunch is probably my favorite time of the day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an important meal, I think, right there along with, uh, with breakfast, of course. Uh, all right, Brent, thanks so much for uh, coming on and talking to us there again. Registration's open now for the Black Cat Chase uh, through the end of the month um, and then uh, all the way up until the race. Right. So, uh, yep, thanks so much, Brent Wallace, uh, for coming on. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.